And uh, right now I want to uh, bring in our next guest, Mr. Uh, Ken Clout. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is from the Mandan Hidatsa, the Rikara Nation. And uh, he's got some stories to tell. He's, he's uh, right now he is the chief commissioner of the inaugural Native American Indian Historic Games. Mm -hmm. And man, that's a... That's interesting. Native American Indian Historic Games. Tell us more about what, what those uh, historic Indian games are. Well, listen, my brother, it's good to be with you. But uh, the Native American Historical Games, uh, I brought this up to the um, NCAI, okay. I guess, about uh, 1989. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that it was important before we lose it to bring back all of the old games that all of the tribes, 550 tribes, matter of fact, we used to be over a thousand different tribes in North America, Canada, and Alaska. And uh, the games are, some of them, there's about uh, 800 different games, but the ones that I'm pinpointing are probably about uh, 50 to 70 different games, and then to bring it down to more of the exciting games would be about 30 mm -hmm. to 40 games. Okay. And they're the wild horse race, the wild horse relay race, the buffalo keep away that's done on horseback. Uh, now, what is that? Buffalo keep away. Buffalo robe keep away. Oh, buffalo robe keep away, okay. All and right. it's just and a on, bit, on horseback. And it's on horseback. Okay. And uh, it's like kind of like on the same basis of the stickball game uh -huh. that the Cherokees and the Choctaws and there were some tribes out in Northern California that played the stickball game also. Is that right? And of course, stickball is very close to um, lacrosse or high life. I have I have me some Mississippi Choctaw sticks. Yeah, and, and the leather ball. Okay. Yeah. The basic is about the same. The only thing is, is that it's uh, it's done on horseback, mm -hmm. and you have two teams. Oh, okay. Now, and so what's that called? What's that game they play? That where they ride the horses and they hit the ball. And they what? And uh, it's a, a polo. Yeah, po okay. So it's kind of a form of polo, but with right. stick, stick ball. Right. And in fact, the polo was was based. was, was come from uh, from the buffalo robe keep away. Okay. Basketball, American football, came from uh, came from stickball. Mm -hmm. The the basic of it. Right. It was of birth a, of, of that. a field and two teams. Right. Against, okay. Now, the stickball game. Let me just first say this: that most of these games were kind of like our court of law. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Go ahead and explain. Okay. That. Now, yeah. the, the the reason for that is to keep from shedding blood. Yes. And the whole tribe to killing each to other. Save, yeah, okay. To save, yeah, save lives. Yeah. So what we used to do is if you infringed or one tribe infringed on another tribe's hunting mm -hmm. ground mm -hmm. or fishing area or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, the elders would get together. And the elders were always the ones that, that brought peace and tried to negotiate not only for the tribe but within other tribes. And um, so they would, it was our kind of like our code of law, winner takes all. Okay. So we would settle it. Well, you want to you wanna go for it? Would you rather have a battle? Or should we just play stick bone or, one, or, or buffalo it's, rope keep yeah, away? Yeah, let's solve it. Now yeah. the buffalo rope keep away, as I, through, from what I studied, mm -hmm. and from my, where I didn't get these from, the studying is from white men. I got them from the elders. Right. Okay. Talking yeah, to the yeah, elders, yeah. and they, they would pass it down. Now, what they would do is this amazing: is that the field, from what I gathered, the original field was 15 miles long, hmm. <laughs> five miles. But wide. there were boundaries. There were boundaries. Okay. Five miles wide. Okay. You had a totem pole. What they called a totem pole, but it's not like you know right, the, the one Northwest. that you worship. Yeah. yeah, okay. But it was a pole that on horseback, if you reached up and put the the robe of the buffalo, it was a 
a buffalo right. robe. Right. Yeah. And that was instead of the foot bone, that was the one. Now, did you just did you just hand carry it, or did you, you have some sort you, of? You could carry it, and they put used to put loops. Okay. Leather loops around the edges of it, uh -huh. so you could hang on to it. Now, what they would do, the basics of the game, was to score to take that. Right. Take the robe and hang it over that. Now, to get that, like on stickball, mm -hmm. you could jump off of your horse onto the other man's horse, <laughs> and you could grab his hair. <laughs> you could whack him on the back of the neck. You could do anything, anything. to get that rope. Now, the only thing now, is... You, you, could you throw him off the horse, though? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. And, and then you could get thrown off the horse. Now, if you stayed on that horse, and you threw it to one of your... Uh, teammates, mm -hmm. the rope, yeah. and he got it. Now, when you got off, the, you had to get off his rope, off his horse. Okay, you couldn't keep riding it. Right, right. So, okay. what, now, where did that leave you? Yeah, where you got to get your horse. You're on the ground, yeah. and you're looking around for your horse, right? <laughs> now, they're one man short, okay? So, the thing is that it wasn't always profitable to get off of your horse oh, and jump okay. on the other okay. man's horse okay. and get you, okay? okay? It was trying to run up beside him and grab that. And but so, you, now, to do that is when you score. Okay. And the first one to score, you didn't need to score 10, 12, 15 times. Yeah, I imagine one would... One would do it yep. because, you know, you had these horses running up against each other. Now, the same way with stick ball. Mm -hmm. You you had that little leather ball, yeah. and you had two sticks, and the hoop was about that big, and you picked it up. You couldn't touch that ball by your hand. You had to throw it and score touching that totem pole, either with the stick or by throwing it. And hitting it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, you've seen that. Now, if you go to my website, I have a lot of these games on there. Mm -hmm. uh, the wild horse race, the relay race, and what have you. And I try. And, and let me give out that website real quick. It's, of course, uh, www. And Ken Clout, and that's K E N K L A U D T. Right. So and post Clout that up with there. The dot I want com. them to go to that and look Ken at us. And I've got we'll, a lot we'll, put of a, we'll put a link on nativemedianetwork.com. Yeah. Because that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. And then and you, you have videotape of... I've got videotape of maybe 30 that's, years of That's this. what we're looking for. And the other thing that we did, that I did, is... Now, this goes to back about 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we went up to the northern tribes in Alaska. Mm -hmm. And we did a whale hunt. Now, I had to get special permission. Yeah. Can you believe that from the government? Well, to I, hunt believe a whale? I believe it. I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with it, but, yeah, I believe it. But... What we did is that they said, well, why do you want to kill a whale? Well, listen, my people eat that up there in, in northern Alaska. Mm -hmm. So none of that went away. None of it. Not even the bones. Right. But can you imagine a whale the size of almost a ship? And that water, if you stay in it, if you fall out of your canoe and you, you get in that water, you've got one, two, three, four, five seconds to get out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you get hypothermia. Like hypothermia, you're dead. Yeah. So, what they did is that they went out in these canoes. It was amazing to me. These okay. seal skin canoes. Now this doesn't canoes. sound like a game. No. <laughs> this, 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 this is, this is, <laughs> this is for this real. Is this is survival. survival. Yeah, yeah. And what they do is they go out in these little uh, seal skin canoes mm -hmm. of about anywhere from 10 to 20 men in each canoe. Okay. And we had 40 of these canoes, and they went out and they harpooned the whale. They found it. They harpooned it. And then all of them started harpooning. Now, rowing, they wore that whale out and kept bringing him back in towards shore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once he gave out, they brought him up to shore. Now, I don't know how years ago that they used to bring them up on shore. Mm -hmm. What we did is the modern way, we hooked a great big caterpillar on them. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> and we <laughs> real big diesel, and we pulled them up on shore. Uh -huh. And listen, 
within within an hour and a half they had that carcass completely cut up. The rest of the village the came out and went to work. Oh man, with those great big knives and yeah. you know and, and they those got ivory, up on those top ivory, of it, wow. you know, and started cutting that and then the, the ladies were picking up that that fat, you know, because the outside is just full of fat. Yeah. And then the inside the when they uh, the blubber. Yeah. And and of course they use that for heating oil, they use oh, yeah. that, you know, to eat and they you know, everything. And then they got down to the heart, you know. Now, is that is that we the, like is, heart, is that the we? Mukla? Mukla? Well, there's there's uh, or, there's or is that the boots? <laughs> there's 15 Mukta. villages up there. Yeah, the Mukta. Inuits, Mukta. Uh -huh. and this is up on the Barren Straits. Yeah, right before oh, yeah. you 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 know you heard yeah. Palin say I can see Russia yeah. from my back. No. Well, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, I forgot. Well, you're not allowed to say Palin on the, on our network. Palin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Palin. <laughs> <laughs> kidding you. As Indians, we like to Unless you say it in jest, yes, okay. But listen, Go ahead. Uh, anyway, um, what we did, is, and that's on there. And like I told you, I don't know if I did it on air here, we had that, that canoe race all the way from Alaska. Right. With, and we had about, uh, I guess, over a hundred different canoes coming down from all the way Alaska, all the way down to Northern California, all the tribes are that are along the the shore there uh, and we had a great big feast and these canoes carry they're seaworthy right they're 40 to 50 men some have had 75 men in them. I've seen those oh and beautiful I was at the at the uh, McCall Museum in Neo Bay yeah once and they had <coughs> thing, and I mean that it's a work of art oh yeah it's a work I of mean art. the carving on it is just <coughs> absolutely beautiful yeah. yeah and then they bring all of those the hosting tribe there said, you know, they would come up on shore and they would ask them, can I come ashore? Mm -hmm. You know, you just didn't get run up. Right. <laughs> Unless you were having war. Yeah. No, so they said, can, may I come ashore with my tribe? And then are you good standing? Yes. And then they bring the bounty of all of that coming down there. The salmon and the clams and the what have you, you know. And uh, we one had, of those goo goo. Oh, we had a, those, we had a week of a feast, man. Gooey, I mean, gooey. What are those called? Gooey ducks. Yeah, gooey, gooey ducks. ducks. Yeah, <laughs> the little thing yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. a. I don't know what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it looks like a ground. gooey duck. Is what it looks like. <laughs> but anyway, that we had a feast of that, and now that was about eighteen. And you mentioned shark before. Oh yeah, we had wow. shark, and you you know you. How does that it. taste? Shark is good meat. Really? Yeah. It's shark steak. Shark steak. Uh -huh. And, uh, but the first thing, all of this food, you know, you got to know how to cook it. Oh. You know, it's just uh, like yeah, that, up, up in the Carolinas here, um, in North Georgia and the Carolinas, up at, way up in the mountains. I've got some secret places that the elders and I have showed me, you know, and mm -hmm. we go bear hunting and, and uh, different ways of fishing, you know, trout, brook trout. And anyway, um, you know, I took very good friends of mine of uh, years gone by, like Bartkowski and those guys with the Atlanta Falcons. Steve Bartkowski, yeah, quarterback. They, yeah. Yeah, okay. And June Jones, the backup quarterback, uh -huh. and a lot of Who them. later became the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then he became coach up there in, uh, in, in, in uh, yeah, what am I trying to think of? Uh, Detroit, mm -hmm. the Detroit Lions. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I used to take them up there hunting and fishing, uh -huh. and the tribe would say, okay, bring them up, mm -hmm. but when you're coming up, you have to blindfold them. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. Okay. Yeah, I was just about to say <laughs> So we would blindfold Bart Kind of like, like going into the bat cave. Oh, you know, yeah. You got to blindfold them first. Blindfold them, and so we'd yeah. get them up there in the mountains, and then we'd go hunting. Well, let me tell you, this is funny. So when we got back, we had a big cookout, the Cherokees up there, the Eastern Band. And Bartkowski and all those guys, we were sitting around the table, you know, laughing and fellowshipping. And they said, man, this is the best roast beef I have ever <laughs> eaten. You know, and they were just going on about the roast beef. Uh -huh. And he kept us in, just kept our mouth shut. Uh -huh. And we got done with dinner. We said, did you enjoy that black bear? <laughs> 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 but That's anyway... Uh, if you go to my website, right. 
you're going to see a lot of these games that I've been trying to bring back, and this has okay. been uh, about 60 some years of research. And and can and can uh, folks uh, even. I'm, you send know, you messages or, or yeah, on that website because, right. or, because or they on, might have some uh, good information for you. Right, and then yeah. the other thing, uh, that's, you know, the website is, yeah. is more or less a conglomeration of everything. Mm -hmm. My family were in gospel music for 50, oh, I, I mean, 95 years. Mm -hmm. I've been at it in for a little over 50 years, so a lot of the, the uh, you know, country and western and rock and roll field are good friends of mine just up the road here in Nashville. Okay. And my headquarters are here in Atlanta, but okay. I'm from Fort Berthold in North Dakota. Okay. So about every four to eight weeks, I go back home up in the Dakotas and tribal business and meet with my people. Right. But my headquarters are here because Delta is here, Northwest is here, right. Coca-Cola. Right, you can fly over every, everywhere. Well, and, and, and I've talked them into giving a lot of sponsorship. Oh, okay. 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 And then CNN and the media system is here. Uh-huh. So my offices are okay. national and international, and we've even done some events in Germany. Mm -hmm. We've done some oh, in, yeah. in Italy, mm -hmm. uh, native games and what have you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they know more about us than uh, than the Americans do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Really. It's true. They've been yeah, and and, and they, they more, more about us. the true history, right? Uh -huh. And so uh, been invited over there over the years. Now, let me just say this is that any events, you know, I tried to do it bringing the tribes in and first the first event that we did was in, in Colorado. I had the mayor and the governor and the, the senators and the congressmen all behind me and that's the day that, that's the year that we introduced that okay. to the to the NCAA. So, so, so when, when's the target date for? Well now listen, this is what I've done is that we over about five days we had about 150,000 people. Uh -huh. But I only had about 30% of that was natives. Okay. But now what I did is switch gears. And I've been over the course of about uh, 25, 30 years, I've been going from reservation to reservation and getting them interested okay. in bringing back the old games. Um, you know, the, 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 the uh, Pro Fair up in Montana. They're good at this. I mean, they have the wild horse race and the relay race and a bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, you you just have to go there and visit and see what it is. Now, okay. if you go to my Facebook, oh, okay. go to my Facebook, KenCloud.com. I've got over 3,000 people following me on, uh, maybe 4,000 mm -hmm. on Facebook. Okay. And that's a day-to-day -day thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to be posting some of the stuff here that I've done here at the convention. All right. And uh, on that Facebook. On your Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. And then the stuff, the more, you know, big big events would try to put on the, uh, on the, website. On the website. Okay. All and right. what I want to do now is that uh, I want to invite you in the media uh -huh. system well, at some events that we have. Okay. We want to. I, I that's what we that, That's exactly why we're putting together the Native Media Network. So we okay. Can I cover just, I just like talked that. to Delta, mm -hmm. and I've talked to Coca Cola, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be doing. They, they, they did you get one of my cards? <laughs> no, I didn't. You need to give me one. Okay. All right. Now, do you have a good cameraman here? Well, somewhat. I want, oh, well, one this is going to. I'm going to put it on my Facebook. Okay. Can I, sure. You know, you're such a good looking. Yeah. I know I'm. I'm ugly. on your website now. It's pretty big. <laughs> We're waiting on the, the, uh, uh, the real, the real good looking guys coming up next. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Now listen. You have to be like me, an old guy. Yeah. With my camera. My grandfather was sitting bull. Did you know that? My I just saw that on the website. Wow. Wow. And then his son is Little Soldier, who was a scout at Custer's right. last L Look at me, Ken. Okay, that's it. So Very if good. you'll hit we that don't... camera sign nope. there then on mine. Uh, hold on, let's put it a little bit more. That's better. All right, yeah. If you'll get, hit get that one. camera sign, but hold still because... It's kind of shaky. No, yeah, it's shaky, but uh, you have to wait for it to uh, to set about wait about eight seconds. I got it. Wait, wait, don't move it. Oh. Okay, now hit another one. Then don't move it. 
wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There you, you got it. it. All right. Cool. Listen. KenCloud.com. Yeah. That's K-E-N-K-L-A-U-D-T. And my dot com. Indian name is Standing Strong. And my son helps me out a lot. His name is Kent. Kent. Goodheart. Goodheart. Okay. Cloud. All right. Well, listen. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. But I want everybody to go to that website down there. And if sure. you'll post that, you'll see what we're doing. I'm going to. Did you check it out? I'm going to show here right now. Okay. All right. And you got some pictures of me all dressed up like a wild Indian. <laughs> like okay, Ken. Indian. Thank God you. God bless. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you very all right. Much. Is this your uh, card? That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, my card. Yeah. That's how you can get re reach me. Appreciate it. All right.